Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Bomb Deep Conditioner. So if you guys are interested, then please keep watching. So I'm going to be starting out with very dry, old twist out that definitely was in need of a lot of moisture and hydration. Influencer was kind enough to send over the new L'Oreal LV Total Repair 5 Damaging Erasing Balm Conditioner. I am always down for trying new products out. This video is not sponsored. I just wanted to sit down and film this and just share my thoughts on this product. So the claims with this product is that it pretty much helps reverse the hair damage to smooth out any type of damage to the hair. This product contains a ceramide that's going to be great for rebuilding hair fibers, strengthening the hair, provides vitality, silkness, and it also gives your hair a really good shine to the hair. So I've already co-washed my hair and my hair is going to be in four sections and I have already started to apply the product to my hair. Whenever I am applying deep conditioner to my hair, I always make sure that my hair has a very nice drenched watery consistency on my hair and I like to apply this into very small sections to make sure that my hair is evenly coated. One thing that I did notice when I tried out this product is the consistency. It is a very, very nice creamy consistency which makes it really easy to glide through the hair. The only thing that I really did not enjoy that much about the product is it has a very, very strong kind of perfumey smell. And I did look up some of the key ingredients and it did have a few silicone properties in which you guys know silicones can be drying on the hair. So if you have any type of issue with using any type of silicones, this may not be the best deep conditioner for you. And I also recommend if you are trying anything that has say, silicone type products inside the product, just try adding um, any type of oil to the deep conditioner to help with moisture. Whenever I am applying a deep conditioner to my hair, I always love to have my spray bottle, my water spray bottle on hand with me because the more water, the better. I notice with deep conditioners that water just helps activate the deep conditioner and it helps the deep conditioner glide through the hair um, a lot smoother. So if you ever feel like when you are working the product into your hair and it's kind of like tangled or anything like that, it always helps just to spray your hair down um, with water just to make sure your hair is really moisturized because the more water, the better for the hair. And I always like to focus my deep conditioners, especially on the ends of the hair, especially because I have color on my ends and they are growing out. I always like to pay attention to the ends of the hair because that is the oldest and the driest part of the hair. So I really did enjoy about this deep conditioner is it was really moisturizing to my hair. I really did enjoy the slip when I did apply it to the hair, especially after putting a little bit more water into my hair. I really did like how well it coated my hair. And I'm a very heavy handed with deep conditioners when I do use them because I always want to make sure that all of my strands are really nice and saturated and evenly coated to the hair to make sure that it is working and doing its best to provide my hair with that extra benefit of moisture. So this is what my hair looks like after all the deep conditioner is in my hair. My curls are definitely popping and I have a lot of bounce and hydration to the hair. I am so, so happy that I see my hair with no color barely in my hair. I just love the thickness, the fullness of how my hair is feeling. My ends are not looking crazy anymore and I'm just really, really happy with what my hair is looking like on my road to healthy curls, which you guys know about if you checked out my last video. So this is a protein type of deep conditioner. I definitely don't recommend using protein in the hair more than about twice a month. I never try to use uh, more than that. Protein is really going to be good for strengthening the hair, which is really good for the winter time. So I'm going to keep this on my hair for about 20 minutes, no more than that. You don't want too much protein sitting on the hair for too long. So after I have left that deep conditioner on my hair for about 20 minutes, this is what my hair looked like. I did notice that my hair had a good amount of clumpage with it. I don't like that it has the silicone properties in it and I have tried deep conditioners that is better. Do I feel like this is a must? No, I have tried better deep conditioners, but overall, I think it did a pretty good job at moisturizing my hair. You can find this product I've seen at Walmart. It's about five to six dollars, but depending on which store that it is located, you can find it there. And with that, you guys, this video is complete. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Comment down below and let me know what are your favorite deep conditioners. I would love to know, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!